Hi uh, metal detecting uh, brothers and sisters, uh, thanks for joining me on my channel. I thought I'd just share some uh, hammer that I found this year. Um, different sizes, different kings and different queens. Um, just to give you some uh, basic information is that uh, you're probably not aware that most hammer is worn or cut and not in very good condition. Even though it's hammered we still get excited but generally it's not in perfect condition because that's how we like to find it in perfect condition the reason why they cut the uh, hammered uh, cut a bit of uh, silver off is they probably hand it over to somebody that can melt it down and make a coin and probably sp sp uh, split the profit that's what they do it's quite a common practice um, so you're going to get quite badly clipped not so badly clipped hammered coins and if you're really, really lucky, you might find some that's not clipped, which is rare, but still, they're out there. I've got a mixture of all sorts, and so I can show you some of the um, hammered coins that I've found, and what condition they are, and hopefully try to identify uh, what period. So let's have a look then. The fourth, maybe. Can we see if we can get it clear on there? It's one side. It's, there's a little bit cut out of it as you can see and um, it's just a bit missing really and the other side is uh, is a, a long cross long cross uh, and there's the bit that you can see that's cut out and the long cross were there for a reason it's because in the olden days the if you bought something with a um, that was under a penny, well they used to cut it in half, so what they used to do then is to give the half back, <laughs> like so. Now this is probably worn really, but it's Elizabeth the uh, first, 1572, half penny, so that's a half cut, hammered, if you like, that's what that one is. There. Same focus. There you go. So that's a half cup. Uh, so we can move on now to other hammered. That uh, yeah. Um, and then if we spin it round, is it yeah? Got it yeah. Uh, there you go. I think it might go upside down. What you? Yeah, but that's it. Yeah. So that's a Scottish penny. James I was the first um, Scottish king to also be the English king. Um, I think it's Queen Mary's, is it Queen Mary's um, son? A little bit of luck maybe. But if you can, oh, see, but that's partly worn so you can't see a great deal. And that's how they come when they're not very good. So let's have a look then. Another side of that is a shield. That's generally we've got it in focus there, perfect. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, perfect. We've got it. So another hammer penny, rough and not really. They could make much out. A lot later coins were a good portrait of the king or queen, uh, but up, up to the first, tenth, maybe thirteenth, they they improved it slightly, but still um, it was like a beardy type shape of a head of somebody, but you couldn't recognise that it was a king, but you couldn't recognise who it was. And this is one. And then the other side is, you have to get like a long cross type thing, but it's like a, a double double cross with pellets, that's it, they, they call those three, three pellets in each quarter. Let's see if we can get that in focus. That's it, there you go, it's in focus there. Yeah. There you go, that's it, yeah, we've got it now, there you go. Perfect. Have a look here. This is this is a groat, three pennies, and this is um, uh, yet again. It's it's Elizabeth the first groat, three pennies. Uh, it's been clipped a little bit. You might be able to see uh, just about see that it has been clipped. I've got uh, she's on there. How much? And then we have the other side, which is typical of uh, Elizabeth the. Uh, Second, the sheet, it's got like a sheet, a cross on it and a shield. And it says 1575. This hammered 1575. Five, yeah, there you go, 1575. 
um, just about to see. So I'm, I'm blanked out and the coin's gone in. So that's, yeah, that's one of those. And you can see on the edge that it, it was, it was uh, cut. Um, cut away on one edge. So they've sliced some of the silver off on that one. And then this is probably another Edward the second or Edward the first, fourth maybe. Not in good condition. But just to give you an idea of what, what the actually, you know, uh, condition that we, we find them. Pretty worn. With some with some with some uh, design, uh, let's try with that. So, so yet again, I think it's 12 or 13th century. Ah, oh, there you go. Okay. Just just see his face there. That's it. Yeah, you just probably see his face. Edward the second or Edward the uh, third. This is in, in reasonable condition. Uh, it's another Elizabeth the first uh, groat. Yet again, it's been trimmed on one side, but still. Is a bit better, a bit better condition is this, and this is 1582, and yeah, there's a rose on it, so that's yeah, yep, there you go. So that's Elizabeth the first, with a little rose on the on her shoulder. 1582. That's it. I think you're going to get it there. That's 1852. Groat, that's three pennies. Uh, of, uh, of, of Elizabeth the First, which is James the First. Six pence. Now I know it doesn't have no date on it, but I do know that this 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 particular one is 1604. And um, let's just see if we can get that. There you go, I think you've got it. Yeah, James the first, 1604. Perfect. Uh, and then the other side is slightly different, because it's not a British one, it's an Irish one. I think it's Northern Ireland. And you can tell that because the different kings and queens of, um, that reign the different parts of the UK had the different coinage to represent that area. So for Scotland it was the thistle and various other things I think, but thistle generally. For Wales it was the leek. And for Ireland it was a harp. So this has got the Irish harp. So this has got the Irish harp. Just about see that. Irish harp, Northern Ireland. Perfect. Brilliant. Lovely. So there you go. That's that. what that one is. So that's just um, a few hammered that uh, I'm showing you. And I've got a lot more than that. Uh, and probably do a, another another uh, clip to show you. Well, I hope you enjoyed that, seeing those coins, and give you some sort of inspiration to go out and find some. In there, just a few, are actually featuring some of my videos on my YouTube channel. If you want to actually see them uh, dug out of the ground, just go to my uh, my channel, and uh, you'll, you'll you'll see them um, in person with all the relevant information. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll catch you on another video where I'll probably show you some more coins of different uh, kings and artifacts. So we'll catch you later. Cheers, bye.